you doing, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Vanguard. Yeah, we're back. It's season two reloaded, so you know what that means. New weapon dropped, and that is the new Arma Guerrera. I don't know how to say it, but we're using the blueprint because I'm too lazy to unlock the rest of it. So this is the blueprint, the black uh, plated. It's called black plated. What's called? It looks like it has diamond in it, to be honest, and I'm pretty sure that is. But this is what we're using here in today's video. The attachments this blueprint comes with is the Stripe Compensator Muzzle, the Body 315mm CII Barrel, the Monocular, monocular Reflector Sight, the Body DA Stock, the Hardscope Proficiency, the Fully Loaded Kit, the Rubber Grip 8mm Kurtz 75 round mag, lengthened in the Carver Grip. This thing is a beam. This thing is like, it's a laser beam, bro. It's really good. That's all it is. It just, it's broken. It's, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. I love this thing. Anyway, we're using this in today's video. If you guys go ahead to enjoy the video, please do drop an early like in the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, let's get this on, man. Get it on. Two of them. Got him. Got him and reload. I suck at this game, but I got both of them. Nice. Nice little double. I got stuck in a super dead little box that didn't even fucking okay. come. Got him. Do a triple. UV. not kill him bro what bullshit i don't know if it's the server side connection or if it's just vanguard in general with the guns but why do they feel so inconsistent at times like i literally put 15 rounds into him and he didn't die but i'll put two rounds into another guy and he's just like, dead like the game can't make its mind up on how fast it wants me to kill somebody although apparently um there's been a lot of rumors and some i guess i'm gonna say rumors some speculation about um Call of Duty 20 uh, with Modern Warfare 2 this year and Call of Duty 2023 since there's not going to be a game um, this next year of 2023. So hopefully Modern Warfare 2 is polished out the ass and it's really good. Because if it's not, we're going to be stuck with a not so good game for a while. Which definitely will suck. I'm dead. No. Ow. All turn gunner. Okay, you love to see it. You love to see it. Got him. This gun is nutty. Okay. I'll call him the ball turn gunner. Why not? You know? Hopefully I can get killed with it though. Which I don't know if I will be able to, to be honest. That was very indoorsy. Fucking spawn protection. I wish you could zoom in with this thing though, man. Cause it is like super duper difficult to see people with this thing. If they're running like, not cold blooded, but whatever this game's equivalent is to cold blooded. It is just super difficult to see them. I can't do anything team. I'm trying my best to do something. Damn. 48 kills, I'll take it. Wait a minute, so you're telling me that assault pacing on this is 5v5? So what, it's tactical base in 2v2? I don't, I'm gonna be honest here, guys. I don't, Vanguard is one of the games I don't actively just wanna play. Um, if you guys don't know, I've been doing a lot of games like Modern Warfare um, Remastered, which that video has done wonders. That video is doing absolutely amazing. And so thank you guys so much for that. Not sure what that man is doing. I don't even know what that kill was, or my aim was, but okay. Me? Oh, now they're spawning there where my, where my teammate was? Cool. If you guys don't know, I don't play much Vanguard. Um, honestly, this is this is not my least played, played COD. My least played COD, I'm pretty sure, is fucking Ghosts. Um, but this is getting there, man. Got him. Got him. 
I know I didn't miss all those bullets. So the fact that weapon inspect... Hey, what are you doing, bro? The fact that weapon inspect is still not in this game is absolutely a travesty at this point. Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, we know the Modern Warfare engine can do it. Forget says engine, per se. We know it can. Why they don't have it is beyond me. Every COD game since BO, um, MWR has had it. If I die right now... What just happened to my audio? Why did my audio just cut out so fucking hard? I mean, I've got my beat. All I wanted is this, but I'm so confused and so lost right now, man. Cool. You can tell this map was designed in COD World at War because there's no like area, area, like aerial spots where you can actually use this thing in. Effectively. Can this man die already? Do you think? I bet you I kill one of my bombers. This flying, like, this is like the most uninteresting thing because it's just five enemies. So it's like so many rounds on this guy right here, pretty much, for it to do nothing. I should just be running dogs at this point. I need to take it off and just run dogs, but that streak is so good on a map like Shipment or even Das House. It's just such a good one, but on most of the other maps, it just isn't good enough to be viable like dogs are, man. Nice triple. Got him. Got him. Dash up. He's dead. Both of them. Both of them. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even know what I just did to them, bro. Got him. And then I died to some random grenade. That's golden, bro. We love to see it. I'm okay. Push up. I don't know, does that prohibit you from also calling in all turn gunners? Hope not. I should have had him, but okay. This could be 100 plus if I could just lock, like, another spawn trap in, but... We no longer have A, and they have the one spot I would need for a two able to spawn trap. At least effectively spawn trap, I should say. Got him. Need a load. We're gonna go ahead and call this in if I can. Awesome, I can call it in. Awesome. I just, now I need them to start spawning at A, but you know, they're not, of course. Yeah, I should have ran dogs. This map fucking sucks for this streak, bro. Yeah, that's pointless. UV. Yeah, I should have just ran dogs and I could have had this 100 plus, man. That's so unfortunate. I mean, unless I just went on some sort of absolute terror right here, bro. There'd be, yeah, I would've had to have to kill him and start that spawn trap again. It sucks because they only spawn up in the bottom and then they have to run upstairs, so there's no open areas for you to just throw, to use that ball turn gun on this map. And I think that's a big issue when it comes to, especially Call of Duty recently. I'm gonna ask you for it. That's a big issue I find with Call of Duty, especially recently, is the maps are just designed inside and it makes it where all aerial streaks are fucking pointless because where are you gonna use it? Like this map, like when you're adding a ball turn gunner, you gotta think about every single map and how that applies. You can't have maps that just don't work with it. And I feel like nowadays, especially with modern day Call of Duty, they just create maps that don't work. Kill house works because the entire top is open. A map like this where it's a dome, doesn't quite work though. Unfortunately, could have been 100 plus if I was doing the other streaks though, man.